Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today, I'm going to talk about the importance of having a mentor to be a master in your field. My name is Abiziz Amopoli, and let's get started. Okay, I'll start with a story I had with a mentor of mine with a business that I had to close for some personal reasons, let's say. Yeah, so by, by the end of last year, late 2023, I had an AI agency where I used to work with lawyers. I was doing like cold calls here in the UK and that wasn't doing so good, let's just say that. It was my first year in business. I didn't even know what to say on the phone call. I couldn't book meetings. It was tough. Like I booked one meeting in three months. Yeah, so I was kind of like, is this like... Should I just stick with this? Is this gonna work? Like, I, I didn't even know what I was doing, you know? I was just lost in this fucking space. Just doing, just grinding every day, you know? Until one day, I watched a video from Ty Lopez, you know? I, I don't know, he just, he came up in the scene. I started watching podcasts from him. And he was just talking about the importance of having a mentor. And I was like, hmm, all right. What if I get a mentor for me in the business field? And I see what's gonna happen after that. So I go in, I, I find a mentor. I had a private group. I could ask someone in your money. So. I found a mentor. He's a great guy, massive business owner, millionaire. So I hopped on a call with him and he gave me some fucking sauce from the first call. And I was like, damn, bro, that was 20 minutes. After that, like we built a, like a relationship and started doing like weekly calls, everything. I even went to their like office. It was like fucking amazing. And like they teach me everything. Like they told me to change my business, like my niche, my yeah, they told me to like change a lot of things in my business. What what services that I provide, what kind of clients do I I work with what scripts do i use how to sell how to book meetings on the phone what to say when to say all of these your tonality all these important things i've learned it in a span of three months and i feel like i started doing like five meetings a day like booking them and even though i made so much progress i feel like if i didn't have that opportunity it would, it would have took me like maybe six months to a year if not even more so i feel like the guidance that someone who in the same field as you could give you because he's further away is actually a massive one it could help anyone in his field to reach mastery. So might be said, I'm wondering right now, okay, how can I get a mentor? I need one. Well, that's a good question to ask. Well, first of all, one thing you need to know is that you might want a mentor, like someone who's steps ahead of you to teach you the thing or to get you ahead in your field. You need to have an answer for like, what, what are they going to gain from you being a student of them or a mentee? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is, what's in it for them? And you could say money. Yeah, that's uh, that could be it. But sometimes it could be even more. What do I mean by that? You don't want to get a mentor if you're like, I've even started in your field. Let's say you want to get into sales, all right? So you want to start working with a big sales company. You just want to do like high level closing. You just do want to do sales, get your commission, and that's it. Okay, that's your goal. That's your dream. Okay, all right. So you start off, you don't know anything about sales, anything. So you start watching youtube videos you start reading books and you get you get a little bit good you start doing like working for low level stuff like closing low level deals you make a little bit of money but you're not even like you're not there yet you're six months in you've worked hard but you feel you need like a step up to get to the next level now you can like afford one now you can get not even it's not about even about the money sometimes a mentor wouldn't work with someone who's not even passionate about the thing or is not even good at it like you need to get to a certain level where it's like hmm like maybe a mentor could see themselves in you so meaning they're like they could teach you and just instill everything they learn their profession to you because they just see themselves in you and that's really amazing and there are like multiple reasons like we, we couldn't count them in this video but what i want to say is that for you to get one you need to be a, at a certain level and it's better to be that's if you didn't have money bro if you if you have a lot a lot of money you could just spend it on like the best guy in your field and you could get him but like if you're just starting out you're just like you don't have that much to afford one the best way to do it is just like climbing up the ladder just like fucking learning and learning it's free on youtube on, on books it's everywhere you know you got the internet so you just learn as much as you can until you get to a certain point where you can get in touch with the best in your field and get a hold of them and if you're serious about it they're gonna work like they're gonna help you trust me so let's just say you're at the beginning There's actually a replacement for a mentor but it's just a temporary one which is books books can help you just grow they will teach you everything about anything literally like you could read books in any certain field and be the best at it with time you need to install like the values and you do the work all that shit is important too by the way but you could use books as a search like a temporary replacement for mentors because at the beginning okay let's say you can't afford one can't afford a mentor right now so what you do just fuck make excuses like a bitch no you're not gonna do that you go get him fuck books and in sales for example read them and just fucking learn the shit learn it you know what i'm talking about learn everything about it be the best in your hometown in 
your, I don't know, department where you work, whatever. Be the best in your circle and your name will go out and you'll get noticed. And this is how you get go to the big leagues. You know, that's how you do it. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you did, make sure to like, share, subscribe, all this beautiful stuff. Thank you. Goodbye.